So Axon Technologies is a, is a strange conglomeration of multiple services and products together. So what we do and what we offer is a cross-section between a managed service provider, software vendor, engineering, consulting. So we do all of that. And with that information, we then bring to our clients the ability to take into a proactive SOC, if you will, so a fusion center. So that's what we do. In short term, you've, you've definitely spent some money on security. We help you figure out how to get the most out of it. Yes, it requires quite a lot of bravery to wake up one day and realize you have a value chain, a product chain, service chain, and not think that you haven't actually thought about your security because that's somebody else's problem. Um, going to the board and saying, I need to increase my budget on everything because security costs, why? It's something that you have to be proactive about. In other words, the only time cybersecurity companies get involved is, oh, something bad happened. So generally speaking, what we're looking for and what we suggest is that the C-suite, I call it C-suite bravery, is that the C-suite shows a little bit of nerve and tries to come in and say, look, we need to have a couple of these things sorted. And I don't, I'm not talking about millions of dollars, I'm talking about understanding that security is an integral part of your value chain, whatever that is. Absolutely. So if you are being attacked by a big state player, the 50 people with hoodies on in dark basements, you know, that doesn't happen, but let's assume that's happening, that's what people think is happening. The way they're attacking you is they're finding opening gaps inside your network, inside your behavior, inside whatever that might be. And that's people. People go to their lunch, people leave their computers unlocked, people use the same passwords, people go home on their VPN, company VPN, check and click links. People do this sort of thing, all right? And so culture of change is important. We really need to think about how we entice people to make change rather than scare them away. Don't throw an enormous amount of technicality at people. Generally, the more secure you want to be, the more technical you need to be. And so what we need to do is start slow and build our way up. When you get people on board, you find your security gaps close much quicker. And so we looked in the 90s of putting up posters everywhere, security's on you. And that didn't really help that much. Turns out that if you incentivize behavior, it's a much better way to do it. So I'm going to come in, I'm going to say, get these firewalls, network switches, processes, procedures up and running, do assessments, VAPT. But I'm then going to say, once you have that outcome, turn that into an incentive program. Right, get people to use two-factor authentication, reward them if they do, that kind of thing.